Miss Michaela. Mrs. Robinson told me that you were learning all about simple machines this week in your reading. So I thought, why not show them ways that they can create their own simple machines with stuff that they have at home? The first simple machine that I'm going to show you how to make this week is called an inclined plane. This is an example of the inclined plane that we're about to make here in this video. What I love about inclined planes is that it allows us to use less force to move an object. And we're going to see that here in our experiment here in a few. But first, we got to create this inclined plane, so we're going to need some supplies. One of the first things that I used was cardboard. Now, as you can see, I've already cut up my cardboard and made it really fancy. But it was originally an Amazon box that I got in the mail. If you don't have cardboard at your house, that's okay. You can easily make an inclined plane using books, too. And if you have cardboard, the next supply you're going to want is scissors. It made it a lot easier for me to cut and make sure that my sides were straight and perfect. After that, you're going to want some tape. And we're going to go by these steps individually, so I promise. Feel free to repeat or go back at any time that you need to. With the tape, the reason why I use this Craftsman colorful tape is because it's really easy to see on my cardboard. Now, if you don't have colorful tape, that's okay too. Another thing that you're going to need are three cups. I like to do three cups because it's really fun to do this experiment later on with some members in your family. So you can use colorful cups like me, or Dixie cups, or glass cups, or even bowls, or anything that you have in your house that can capture our next and last material. The last thing you're going to want is a ball. Now, it doesn't need to be a perfect ball. I use these ping pong balls that I had in my house, but you can use anything that you have. If you have grapes, you can use grapes in your fridge. If you have marble, you can use marble. You can use anything as long as it's able to roll down an inclined plane. Now that I have all of my supplies gathered, the first thing that I'm going to do is work with my cardboard. So what you want to do with your cardboard is if it's in a box, you want to cut it out to where you have only two strips of it. One side, the other side. Next, when you're done with that, you're going to move on to the next step, which is creating lines on your cardboard. I created three because I wanted three people to be able to do this experiment at once. And you're going to take those lines and connect them to two pieces of cardboard. Now, your cardboard does not need to be this thick. I have cardboard this thin too, but because I wanted to use a bigger ball, I ended up using a piece of cardboard. So after that, once all of your tape has been laid out, you're going to want to make sure that you get the back too. After that, this doesn't really look like an inclined plane. So I used one of my skinnier pieces to help prop it up. It looks a little something like this. You just attach some tape to the top. And attach it right there. Now, once you've done that, you're going to need your cup. I have three cups, and they just have a little bit of tape on them. And I'm going to put them at the end of my inclined plane. This is to help us out with our experiment here in a few. Once you've completed that, you are ready to start with your experiment. First, I want you to make a prediction. We're going to take one ball, or marble, or grape, or whatever you have, and I want you to guess how long it's going to take, or how many seconds it'll take,
for this ball to get from this side all the way to this side and into the cup. Take a few seconds right now to do that. Great. So now that you've made your prediction, let's see how well you did. That went pretty fast, didn't it? But what would happen if I didn't have an inclined plane? What if I just had a normal piece of cardboard? Do you think that it would move as quickly as it did with the inclined plane? Or do you think it's going to move slower and not get to the bottom as quickly? Take a few seconds right now and make a prediction. Awesome job. Now, let's see. Did it even make it to the end? No. In most cases, because I have had this bent for a while, it's usually just going to stay there. Isn't that crazy? Was your prediction right? I sure hope so. And if not, that's okay too. Now, for the real fun, I want you to take a member of your family and have them conduct this experiment with you. Another fun inclined plane experiment that you can do is using inclined planes at different heights. See how this one right here is up a lot higher than this one? Will that affect how quickly the balls go down the inclined plane? Which one do you think will get there quicker? Will it be the shorter one, the lower incline plane? Or do you think it will be the taller incline plane? Take a second to make your prediction now. Congratulations, friends. Give yourself a pat on the back. You just created an incline plane with materials that you have at home. If you enjoyed this experiment, make sure to tune in for the next one when we learn about a new simple machine.